these fascinating technologies like LIDAR, mm -hmm. where you have the ability, ground penetrating yeah. radar, all these different things where you can look yeah. into the soil itself and find things that aren't visible on the surface, see them through trees, see mm -hmm. them through that, we're going to find more. That was part of our adventure with, yes. with season two of Ancient Apocalypse, was, the, was, was working with, with a really professional team in, in Brazil, uh, uh, led by a, a, an archaeologist, Marty Parsonen from the University of Helsinki, and a geographer from Brazil, Alceu Ranzi. Alceu, years ago, was the first person who noticed that there are these huge geometrical structures emerging out of the Amazon jungle, and he, and he, he noticed it on a, on a flight on a, commercial, on a commercial aircraft in an area that happened to have been cleared by local farmers for planting crops, uh, that there was this massive geometrical earthwork there. And that, he, he actually coined the term geoglyphs for these because he compared them in some ways with the Nazca lines, which again are really only visible from the air. We largely know about them because of these tragic clearances of the Amazon rainforest, which is a maybe short-term economic gain, but is long-term really not a very good idea. But now with LIDAR, it's possible to find these things without damaging any rainforest at all. And we had a LIDAR expert with us, and, and you can fly LIDAR off a drone, and then he flies over there, and within a matter of hours, he's found multiple more of these of these structures, several. That are deep in the rainforest. That are deep in the covered rainforest. Covered completely. Covered completely, and LIDAR allows him to see through the canopy oh. and to see what's underneath it without damaging it. And there are these huge earthworks. And this raises the question, how much more is there in the Amazon to find, especially which even, even the archaeologists who are most reluctant are now willing to accept that the Amazon had a huge population before the Spanish conquest. Millions, cities, yeah. a whole different way of life, a whole different kind of civilization from the one that we have today, one that lived in a, a man-made garden, which is what the Amazon really and truly is. And lived in and lived in harmony with that. We've talked about that before, but for people who've never heard those other podcasts, they've determined that the the Amazon rainforest is at least partially man-made. Definitely, uh, they've they've determined that because of the the preponderance of trees that serve human needs. Uh, they call them hyperdominant, and things like Brazil nut trees, which are which which are providing food for human beings, are in massive dominance in relation to trees that aren't useful to human beings. And it's, it's clear that this is the result of a long-term human project to make this jungle serve human needs.